Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to Frostpunk where we have just had another cold event. Um, the Faith Keepers is offline, which is probably not a good thing. Uh, the House of Prayer is doing okay, but yep, it is super chilly right now. Um, the Infirmary needs some heat. Uh, the Sawmill is freezing and probably will not be operating. No, it's very cold. So it is able to operate, but it's not going to be pleasant out there. The House of Healing probably needs a bit more heat as well, and that should be fine. All right. We've got some people coming back. We're bringing in some food. Where is the mess hall? Okay. 48 food per hour we are currently producing. Hopefully, we can start getting rid of all of these starving people, and we can start focusing on building some homes for people so that they don't all freeze to death when the storm arrives. So, let's do just that. I think that the uh, the ideal place is going to be sort of out and around here. I don't want to get near these trees, though. Maybe in here a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, cookhouse insulation is currently being researched. But I think that we need some bunkhouses. And they're going to go around... Yeah, here we go. Around the uh, the house of prayer. Right? Hopefully being around... Well, being around the House of Prayers can help people be happier. Oh my god. We're out of wood. Um, sawmill? Sawmill. Where is sawmill? Sawmill? Sawmill. God, I always get turned around on this. Okay, this is freezing. Uh, let's get ourselves then... A steam hub. That feels like a waste. Feels like a waste to put that steam hub right there. Uh, is there a spot here where we can build a secondary... Oh my god, wood. Uh, okay. Alright, we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to do that like that. It's a super waste unless... Oh, hang on. Here we go. Let's... Sorry, what am I doing? Let's build a road. Uh, let's build a road. Thank you. Okay, great. Build a street that comes around like this. With the intention that we are then going to move this guy a little bit as soon as we can. So this guy can go... There. Okay, great. And then we can move it to chase the trees as we, uh, as we deplete the trees going forward. Yeah? I think that'll, uh, that'll help us out. So, let's, um, let's chuff on with this and see if we can get this guy back up and running and harvesting a bit more wood for us. We may just actually put a second one in next to it. In fact, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, another sawmill can go... There. Street is under construction. Okay, great. Right there. So, we'll get that hooked up right away. We'll get people building this stuff for us. And then as soon as they're online, we're going to man them up. Get some heat on board. We've got many sick people. But food is pouring in now. Which is super duper thrilling. Okay. Alrighty. So, scouts number two have returned safely to the city with the children. Uh, so 35 children, 340 coal, one steam core, 64 wood, and 102 food. Scouts, well done. I thank you for your effort. These guys, uh, this transport has stopped. Storage is full. Okay. All right. Let's, whoops, uh, let's get ourselves some more resource depots. And I'm going to build them. I don't suppose it really matters where I put them. I'm just going to build them in wherever I can. Because this one is totally chock... Nope, that's a gathering post. Where was that other one that I built? Uh, up here? Or in... There it is. So that one's full of coal already. So they're not going to bring the coal in because there's just too much in the city already. Um, right, more sick beds are needed. I will open a new infirmary. I have four days to build it. These two guys are going to come online and that'll be great. And you know what? Where was the last infirmary that I built? Uh, over here. Okay, let's build another one right next door to that. 
I should be able to afford it. No. I need some more wood. But that's okay. This new sawmill, which is uh, over here, can be brought online for a 14-hour shift. And we'll get that cranking. So we can get an additional bunch of wood stored up. I guess that... I guess that what I should do is concentrate on putting my wood stores near the sawmills. And these can be for coal. And what's this one? Coal. Okay, great. And these guys are going to bring food in. Okay, great. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, so this one. Boom. That's going to be coal. Another 900 coal. This one can be, when it comes online, I guess food. And these guys have arrived at the research station. What do you got, guys? Inside the ransack station, we found a Tesla's auto diary, audio diary. Uh, a voice speaks. All the observed changes, like sun's dimming, volcanic ash, could not have caused such cooling. But what if the huge quake of 1887 in Patagonia was an asteroid strike? There's shouting. Cra oh. <clears throat> There's shouting. Crashes, and then silence. Numerous tracks lead from the door towards the mountains. Oh. More resources. Let's head up to this cave hideout. Is that the storm coming in? What looms ahead? Research beacon, stereoscopic lens. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, okay. I better do that. All right. Beacon... Stereoscopic lens. Stereoscopic lenses. Advanced measuring instruments installed in the beacon will enable us to, enable us to gauge the severity of incoming storms. Alright, 16 hours, but we can't do it just yet because we need 100 freaking wood to get that done. Alright, plan B. Resources. Wall drill. Get it underway. We need some wall drills to get even more wood in this place. The uh, the sawmills aren't getting us enough. Um, I think that it's going to be important for us to get as much wood as humanly possible stored up. Um, stored up? I mean, underway, right? Because we're going to need to build... I mean, I still need to build that freaking um, infirmary as well. Uh, what are these guys doing? Waiting. All right, well... Would you like, chaps, to check out... Hmm. Let's check out the ice crevasse. Against the stark white of the snow plateau, something stands out. A thin, dark line. It's hard to tell... From this distance, what's to be found there? Get underway, guys. Tell me what you're doing. Alright, um, let's... Aha. I see. So I need to actually... Wait. These guys are built, right? And they're going to send shipments every day? Okay, great. So we got that. That's fine. I guess the biggest concern that I have right now, the biggest resource concern, is wood. Um, can I... Not a bunkhouse. I would like to find... First of all, why is that bunkhouse so cold? Oh, because I didn't put any... Bugger. Um, Alright. Let's see what we can do about getting our research pushed through. Uh, where are my research buildings? Um, no, no, no. What am I looking for? Where is it? Things are starting to get a little bit confusing in here. Okay, here we go. Workshop. Guys, get some warming, uh, heating up and running. And... Let's do. I need some research underway, guys. And we're going to get some discontent out of that. But... I can probably bring that under control with... Nope. A nighttime procession. Is it my imagination 
or is the music starting to get a little bit more ominous as the game goes along? I really am starting to get anxious about how this is all proceeding. It's starting to feel quite worrying now. Okay, you need to store raw food. Actually, you don't need... No, change to coal. Coal is the thing that we need right now. More than anything else. Um, purpose? Okay. I think I need to become the protector of the truth. If I do this, I'm going to get a discontent bump. But then I will be able to, like, stand out and tell people that everything's cool. And keep them under control. Now, how much am I going to get? Okay, that's a big bump. That's a pretty big bump. What does it change? We live and die by his word already. What is the truth? Our captain has the answers to all of life's mysteries. Cool. Um, so how do I... How do I actually use that ability? The word of the captain. I can't quite see where one would kick that off. Um, Alright, I'll, I'll figure that out later on. I'm sure it's... Um, I'm sure it's something that I can figure out. Uh, and I need to open this new infirmary. Right now. Where was that last one? Hang on. Um, there. Okay. Pop another one right here. Nestled back up against the heating unit. We've got some space inefficiencies going on here, but honestly, at this stage, there's not a huge amount that I can do about that. Let's get a couple more homes underway around the back of this guy and get that hooked up like this. We're going to need to heat this as well. Or we're going to need to boost this guy up to level 3. But the research required to get us to level 3 is a ways away. Um, i tell you what. Let's get some even more research going on. Where can we plop this that it's going to be warm? In there? That should be uh, that should be sufficient. How many engineers do we have sitting on their hands at the moment? 28. Alright. So what we need to do is get through the rest of the wall drill. Get some good amounts of wood underway. And then get our research absolutely cranking. Because at this stage, I desperately need more wood. Uh, what do we need to make a wall drill? 20 wood and one steam core. We can do that. Nope, we can't. We have zero steam cores. These guys have all the freaking steam cores. Uh, we climbed up the cave. A low stone wall stands across its entrance. Behind it, we can see several men. As we approach the cave, its inhabitants pull out rifles and take positions behind the wall, barring the entrance. They are in, a bad, in bad shape, weak from malnourishment and illness. Either we can talk to them and convince them to join us, or we can attack them and probably not do terribly well. Let's talk to them. Nothing like small talk. Seeing that we have no ill intentions, the Americans told us how they dealt justice to the inventor after expelling him from his city. We buried Tesla's battered body in the cave and are heading home with these poor wretches in tow. All right, guys. Come on back and bring them steam cores, uh, the, the steam cores for me. I could potentially get um, another outpost or change the outpost to, to get steel, uh, steam cores from there. I mean, I could also look at grabbing wood from, what, winter home instead of coal. But I kind of think that coal is more important right now than anything else. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely what I need to focus on. All right, let's get these homeless people set up uh, once we build the wall drill. Ah, oh, no, steam cores. Uh, all right, okay. Houses. Okay. We got this. We got this. Put a steam hub, I guess. 
That's a little close. I might want to have one... I might want to have one back a little bit more, but you know what? What I really want... Is this. Generator power upgrade 2. And range upgrade 2. And heater efficiency upgrade. And we need 100 wood to make that happen. Alright guys. We need more sawmills instead. Um, can we pop one out here and still get a reasonable amount of resources? Or shall we nestle it? Oh, that's a pretty good spot. Yep, let's do that there. We get another one of these underway. This workshop is coming along very slowly. But we can get some people into that. We can get some people into this sawmill. Boom, bang, bong. Time to rest. Discontent is rising. 12 overtime works. Ah, I see. I see. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but there's not much we can do about this. We really desperately need to keep everything running. We need more, more, more of everything right now. Um, can we... We can't heat this, can we? It might come good tomorrow... But I think we're going to need to try and get... Um, aha. We can get this fairly quickly. And then we'll do the upgrade tomorrow when we've got more wood up our sleeve. Let's get this infirmary staffed up. Healthcare promise fulfilled. Excellent. And let's turn the heater on. Why not? Why not indeed? Okay. So that's now being taken care of. This guy is currently working 24-7, which seems... It's brutal. It's brutal, but we need this Steam Hub upgrade done. We need more wood on board so that we can do more research, so that we can build more things, so that we can... Oh my god. The micro in this game. It's so awesome. I, re I really do love this game, guys. It's so spectacular. But at least we're keeping on top of food now. The next thing we have to worry about is all these homeless people. Um, okay, I can't leave these people freezing forever. It's too, too cold in there. They're all going to get, like, 77 people are freezing. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't need that. Okay, hang on. Cancel that. Let's build it one more notch over. Because I don't care about heating the cemetery. I just want to heat these homes. So we're going to pop that there. And then we're going to build... A couple more bunkhouses. Like this. And then we can link this road through like that. Okay. We'll just slowly keep chewing through these homes. Getting them up and running. I'm so super worried about health at the moment as well. Like it's something that I'm currently not really able to take care of at a at a good enough rate but it's okay it's okay let's have a look at how we're tracking on things coal wise we are consuming a lot more than recently but we've had some nice boosts that have been sort of we are trending upwards right uh wood is really bad it's growing but not as much as i would like it to um Steel is kind of... There's not much we can do about that. Food. Okay. This is better. This is better. And now that we've got the... Um, the Outpost Depot giving us 100 tick. 100 per day. That's pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that. And same with this guy. The incoming from this... Nah, no, sorry. This one. Uh, is going to be, yeah, 800... And then, like, like a thousand-ish from all of our coal mines. So I'm very happy with how that's going. Health status. Oh. 50 people died. Oh, my goodness me. Okay. But the healed is not outstripping the sick. So we need to increase our, uh, our health care to try and bring a few more people online. 
The housing temperature is pretty bad right now. There is a freezing bunkhouse somewhere. Where's that? Oh, that's okay. We're going to fix that shortly, guys. As soon as this, uh, this heater comes online. Boom. Okay. But we do have a number of amputees starting to turn up, which I'm starting to get worried about. All right. Guys, what are you worried about? Hungry mother. Sir, a woman came to plead with you. She wants more food rations, but the cooks say she's already received her allowance. I beg you, Captain, the woman says in a trembling voice. Your men mean well, but they must have made a mistake. I need two rations, one for me and one for my sick child. Um... I won't bend the rules, I'm sorry. I can't handle that. And I think we need an evening prayer to help people feel better about that. Captain knows best, friends. Captain knows best. I'm sorry, but that's just uh, that's just how it's going to go. Whew. Oh, dear me. Deary, deary me. Okay, so how are we doing? The Steam Hub, ra Steam Hub range upgrade is currently underway. Um, our wood is still very stagnant. Um, even with... So how are you guys doing, coal-wise? There's nothing stockpiled behind the coal thumper at the moment, which is a bit of a concern, but it's okay. Um, these guys, 1011 there. This guy's only got 192 left, but it's better than nothing. And then the, uh, the other one that I created over here, it's got 672 in reach. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. We just need to, just need to get more wood, much more wood. Okay. Steam hub range upgrade researched. Let's get the steam hubs boosted up. They're all running 24 hours. They're all actually boosted already. Fantastic. Um, but the amount of coal that we're chewing is now higher. I see. Okay. Um, okie dokie. Alright. I mean, I should have expected that. Um, let's go for... A steam coal thumper? So that'll be more efficient, I assume. I'm not sure. And I'm very distracted at the moment by hearing people... Oh, a sawmill upgrade. What an obvious thing to do. God, how long has that been sitting there? Alright. Um, back to work, everyone. The temperature's coming up mildly, which is nice. But still not as high as I'd like it to be. All right, so let's uh, let's leave the coal for now. Go to work. Food theft causes riots, sir. We investigated the discrepancies between the raw food use and the output of the cookhouses. It turns out that the cooks are stealing food. People are furious. We caught one thieves. They say they wanted to secure their families before the storm shuts down the food supply. Okay, faith keepers. Faith keepers supervise the cooks. That's what they're there for. They are my, like, they are my police force, I guess. They're the guys that I rely on to keep things under control in this place. Uh, these guys have reached the ice crevasse. Um, oh, they look, it looks like there's some survivors there. On the verge of death, these people are on their last legs. Despite taking shelter in an ice crevasse, Many of them suffer from heavy frostbite and hypothermia. We can help them if we still, uh, still if we act quickly and bring them to our city. They can't stand on their own. Some can hardly speak. But we've discovered Camp Vulcan. All right, bring them home, guys. We're gonna have to try and. Oh, oh. Check it. These points out here. They're getting frosted over by the storm. This is not going to end well, friends. With 10 hours of coal left, I'm very, very worried now. Um, 
Did I see before that the thumper was not performing? No, it is functioning. It is definitely functioning. And these two are harvesting quite nicely. 33.1 per hour. So that's nice. They are also doing big shifts. So they should be doing quite well. But I, uh, I, I, I'm still... All right. Let's think about this. Where are we consuming? Oh my goodness me. Oh. Okay, we're in a bit of a bit of a bit of trouble here. This is this is extremely bad. Can we build another um coal mine. No, it requires steam cores, uh, which is currently being brought back by these guys, and they're 16 hours away. They have five of them, though. They have five steam cores, which may just be enough. It may just be enough to keep us alive. Sawmill upgrade has been researched. Excellent. So that's taken care of. We have over a hundred now. Shall we get our mechanical calculators up and running? Or shall we get a steam sawmill? It doesn't say what that actually does for us. I'm assuming it's better. And a steam steel works. Um, let's get mechanical calculators. Because I think that that's going to be a fairly important thing. And let's get some more homes. More bunk houses in our new home zone. Which was, where was that? Over here? Over here. Behind the church. Okay, guys. Uh, get in here. Um, not adjacent to the street, but that's okay. I really need you to be in here so that you can be close to this guy. We're going to get a new road ringed around the back. At least to there. And then we need the research to be upgraded so that we can uh, get some deeper stuff. We need the steam cores in so that we can build a wall drill. And then there was one more... I believe that there was one more coal pile somewhere, wasn't there? Please tell me there's one more coal mining point. No, that was here, wasn't it? No? Here. No? Gosh. Um, that was it. That was where that coal mine was. Um, we need to upgrade our coal mines. Which means we need another workshop. We need another workshop so that we can research even faster. Oh, uh, well, I didn't mean to put that one there, but that's fine. I may as well have two more. You know what? I may as well. Let's get one back here as well. When those two come online, because I'm pretty sure we've got... Oh, we've got 13 engineers remaining, but there's some more people on the way. Oh, uh, they're only workers. More sick beds are needed. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. I will open a new infirmary. I had been meaning to do that. Oh, dear. I have four days to do it. Well, that's where one of my steam cores is going to go. Uh, mechanical calculators has been researched. Excellent. Let's get to work on... Generator range upgrade 2. Or generator power upgrade. Yes. Yes, make it so. All right. And let's get some dudes in there. And when this one comes online, we're going to get some dudes in there as well. How warm is this? Scouts number two have arrived. You can disband them at the beacon or send them back out into the Frostland. Um, how is the Frostland looking? Because this storm is working its way towards us. The likelihood of them being able to make it out to, say, the snow burrows and back again. They might be able to. One day and 12 hours. Alright, guys. Do your best. I'll just keep an eye on how this is going. And hopefully we won't uh, run into the problem where these guys are going to get trapped out in the wasteland. That would be horrible. Okay. Next workshop. 
online, get to work, big shift. This one, get to work, heater on, and what's going on here? Doom-mongering doom drunks. Sir, a dozen or so people got drunk and took to the streets. They were chasing after women, yelling that we should have some fun before the storm kills us all. What should we do with them? Banish them? They'll be sent to sober up, but their doom-mongering will affect hope and discontent. Oh, man. I don't think I can stand any more discontent right now. I'm just going to have to do without 12 people. Which means I'm going to have to add a few more people here and there to, uh, to top up the positions where those people were removed from. It feels kind of brutal that I just did that, I have to say. But we're at, like, survival factor five at the moment. What's going on up here? Was it, uh, what? The bunkhouse? No. What am I looking at that's nine out of ten here? The gathering post. Okay, guys. Get to work. Let's get some more research underway. Oh, no. It's... Oh, it's night time. Cool. Nice work, Astro. And this bunkhouse is still cold. Why? Is there not a steam generator near to this bunkhouse? Let's have a look. There is not. There's one here. Scouts number three have returned, bringing with them 35 workers and most importantly, five steam cores. I mean, hey, workers, welcome aboard. It's great to have you here, but no, no. This is what we care about. First of all, uh, where was our infirmary zone? Back here. Let's get one more. Oh my God. I've really started getting quite poor with the layout of everything here. So let's get another infirmary online. Let's get a wall drill, which they go up against the wall. I've never built one of these before, but I know that they're supposed to, aha, here we go. Ooh, look at this cool thing. Oh, let's do it here. Bonk. And then we need to like connect a tiny little nubbin of street there. Uh, this guy is going to be heated as soon as it comes online, but it desperately needs to be online. We need the wood, guys. Uh, and we're going to need a resource stockpile. Resource depots. Two of. Or three. Let's do three. We're going to stockpile a whole bunch of wood. We're going to employ ten workers in there to get that up and running. And with all of this wood that we now have on board, let's get a whole bunch of homes built. Oh, Come on, we can do this. We can do this, friends. Let's go. Let's get a whole bunch of homes built out like this. Uh, and in here, and in here. I'm being really inefficient with this. But it's like, at the moment, not something that is a huge... There we go. A uh, huge priority for me. Let's get that one hooked up as well. We're going to probably need some more heat in that zone. Possibly for this house here. It does seem to be okay at the moment, though. How are we doing? Ooh, yeah, lovely. All right. Next research. Generator range upgrade number two. Get started. Because heat is going to be a real critical problem very shortly. We are dipping. We're dipping in coal. Oh, my God. Uh, heater efficiency upgrade. Okay. I bought that. Give me that. Let's do... Okay, you don't need to be at three, guys. You need to be at generator level one for now. How's that looking? Level one is fine. Level one is fine. We're okay. Oh, that's because we're still at level three. Well, we're dropping back down to level two. So let's drop it down to level one. And we'll see what we can do about getting some heater efficiencies running. Uh, we're going to need... I guess... Maybe making our coal thumper more efficient would be a good idea as well. And then getting more uh, coal out of our uh, coal mines would be a great idea. Efficient gathering. Gathering post-insulation might be a really good idea. Food, health, and shelter. 
We can insulate the hothouses, an industrial hothouse. Oh. 60 raw food per day. That'd be fairly handy. Houses, what do these give us? A comfortable house for 10 people, well protected from the weather. This is gonna be something I need to look at as well. With all of the research that we've got going on though, we're out of coal. 10 of our people just died. The generator is shutting down. Why is the generator shutting down? We got 800. Oh, because the delivery just came in. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We got this. We got this. The generator's back up. The heaters are now more efficient. Oh, man. Um, do I build infirmary mechanization? That's kind of handy. Then I could use those extra engineers for research. Do it. We're trying to accelerate here. That's what I'm hoping to achieve. Hang on, let's have a look. What does this thing actually look like? Oh, sick. It's like a giant drill that goes into the ice to get all the frozen trees that are in there. And it's got a hundred thousand trees. And it's gonna pull 16 per hour. It probably needs to be heated too. There you go, friends. I will look after you. Uh, these three stockpiles here can be set to wood so that we can stockpile as much wood as we can. Hopefully, that'll help us to keep our research chugging along. Coal is super dangerous right now. This needs some workers in it. Although we only have one. Um, okay. Okay. Let's do this. Healthcare promise fulfilled. Hope rises. And based on that, let us pray. <sighs> Alright. We're doing it. We are super duper low on coal though. Can I build... No, I can't. I need to research... A charcoal kiln. If I want to turn wood into coal, I need a charcoal kill. kiln. Which may be something that I need to think about. Uh-oh. Look at this. Temperature will drop one level, right? So it's minus 70, minus 80, minus 90. And that's where the storm begins. It's coming. It's coming, friends. And it's going to be brutal. But we'll deal with that when it happens. Friends, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.